Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, where the pro sports teams wear black and gold. Those are the primary colors of the team calling itself the Pittsburgh Penguins. Good evening, everyone, along with Eddie Olchek, Mike Emmerich. Tonight we have East against West. What's one thing you think of when we have these conferences colliding? How important pre-scouting is when you don't play against the other conference as often as you do from your inner conference. So pre-scouting, a big part of getting ready for this game tonight. Pittsburgh's game plan will be front and center. Probably for the first 10 minutes, we'll get a real good indication of how they're gonna play this game. And now we turn to the last lines of defense, the goalies. Murray's in goal tonight. The coach's decision made with confidence for the Penguins. Mark andre Fleury gets the call to the goal crease. Half his life ago, at age 15, he was playing major junior hockey for the Cape Breton Screaming Eagles, and he dreamed of making a save that would win his team a Stanley Cup. He did just that for Pittsburgh in a Game 7 10 years later. As we're about to begin, Sidney Crosby's won everything possible in the game of hockey. Now he'll see if he can win this faceoff. He's on the ice to put on another show in front of these fans. That is defense. Oh, broke it up. He's got that pass at the point. Propelled to Garrison. And angled to McNabb. Good save there. A whistle and a rest. And here is the third voice of our crew, the man in the coldest place, Eyesight, Ray Ferraro. Guys, I know earlier you were talking about the importance of pre-scouting and the unfamiliarity between the two teams. From my experience as a player, these pre-game meetings are the ones that last. Hit the post with the shot. Moved along and in. Knocked off the puck. Goaltender pass. Brought ahead. Trying to go to McNabb. Vegas looking to head man up the wing. In a rivalry game, you expect this kind of physical punishment. Puck is thrown to Garrison. Pitching it to Smith. Puck controlled by Garrison. The pass is off the mark. What a chance that would have been. Flurry set the bench. Extra man over the boards. Pittsburgh's got a minor for slashing. There's always a start to your power play night, and this is number...
for one. Good job tying the man up on the faceoff. Teammate comes in. A shot. Can't get it on net. You have to give yourself a chance here. You cannot blow this puck past the net. Gets in, and he'll look over his options. Pittsburgh's getting an attack ready in their own end. The Golden Knights go back so that they can come back on this power play. Big hit there and more to come. Wrist shot. Off the mark. Shot. Terrific save there. Didn't look like he had anything to shoot at, and he made it tough. You don't get many better opportunities than that. Great save. Vegas failed on that power play. Could that come back to haunt them? Some power plays are more important than others, and when you're in a position in the game like this, it would be nice to come through. They just didn't seem to have any set plan about what they were trying to accomplish on that power play. Directing that one to Hornquist. Pass attempt to Perron. Got it in his own end. Laid on to Hornquist. Punched away. Perron's looking to make a play from his own end towards center. Did not go very well that time. Loose puck. A good stick there, so no complete pass. Puck covered, whistle blown. Just a little under nine minutes remaining in the period. Neither goalie has made any mistakes so far. A shot with no time whatsoever. He turned it aside. A missed opportunity from this close in. The defense was in the way. Loose puck. Knocks it away with the stick. Gets in. Looks over his options here. Has it picked up. The Golden Knights control the play at center. Scooped up by Cole. A shot. And at an angle to Garrison. That pass tipped away by the opposition. Stood up there. Pittsburgh's looking to head man up the wing. That one's to him from his goaltender. And it's a good pickup. Laid up that right side to Belmont. Can't get a shot on. Pittsburgh's got possession in the defensive zone. Into the end of attack. Swept on to Engelin. Oh, what a break. That shot hit somebody. Slid to Belmont. Oh, great save there. Not much room to work, but he got a good shot away. Not a lot of room to score from in that area. Great save. The clock has bled down to the last minute. The Penguins with possession up the wing. Puck loose. Strong defensive play by Garrison. Hanging on to it up the wing. Now it's directed to Smith. Oh, did he ever get mashed. Kessel's the type of player that responds to this type of game. It's going to be aggressive from start to finish, and his team wants to have the upper hand. First period has come to a close. Don't know about you, but I've got a lot of ink left here. Few entries, no goals on that scorecard. It's time to support those around us with a monthly food drop. Bring three non-perishable food items. Vegas is thinking as they head to the dressing room, we should be ahead in this one. But it was the post that made one of the key saves of the period. Right back after this. We have 20 minutes down. We have lots of time still to go. What are your thoughts so far, Edson? Not a lot of shots by either team, Doc, in the first period. But I like the way that they both ended that period. So let's see if that continues here in the second. Second period underway and no score. Muscled long to McNabb. Outstanding work with the glove. Face-off win here. Great stick save. Hangs on to that one, and he'll see a face-off right near him. The 
Big face-off win. Ooh, he got in the way of that one. He scores! We've got a score in the game other than 0-0 zero, zero now. Garrison's wrist shot was heavy and quick. Well, the goaltender wants to be aggressive here, but this is just perfectly delivered. The Golden Knights have been overwhelming, and finally the reward, they lead 1-0. And that's a face-off win. It's an onside play. The Penguins lug that along up the wing. Garrison's carrying it through center. Got it at the point. Let's a shot go. Collected by James Neal. A wonderful shot answered quickly. Uh, with this puck being so close to that, this is all a reactionary save. A little under four minutes have gone off the clock. Only one goal hanging on the board so far. So it's one nothing. Deflected off the blocker. Let's it fly. Outstanding save with a glove. Blocked that one. Fires. Oh, terrific save on a great chance. Fires. Paddled aside. And so now a penalty will be handed out. The Penguins have to sit for two minutes for high sticking. You carry your stick around like that more times than not, you're going to end up in the box. The Golden Knights power play gets another chance to operate. Hasn't been effective yet. Pittsburgh penalty. Good faceoff win. Players score off the iron and in. this area of the ice, you're always shooting the score. And so the goaltender did everything he could here, but this shot is just perfect. Sometimes you have to tip your cap. Vegas has noticed a trend on the shot board. It's huge, and they've been able to build with shots on goal going in. Up by two here. Hi, I'm Tom Rennie. Welcome to Training Camp, a new feature brought to you by EA Sports NHL and Hockey Canada to deliver tips and tricks that will help you improve your hockey skills. We want you to enjoy the game as much as we do, and it's always more fun when you're learning and improving. So take advantage of these tips to learn the rules, build your hockey knowledge, and you'll see Every face-off's an opportunity to start on offense instead of defense. It's the first battle of every shift. 
In face-off training camp, we're going to learn different ways to beat your opponent in the face-off circle. The key to winning face-offs is timing. To draw the puck back at the face-off, using the skill stick controls, you press the right stick down as soon as the ref... Hey everybody, in shooting training camp.